I hope that this matches me, maybe I'll find out, okay? Like light. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I do see the glow. Do you see that? Girl, we, we winging it right now. Let's try out some new makeup and let's just talk. I have with me the new Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. And this is the shade 375. This is the darkest shade of what was sent to me. Oh, it is the darkest shade. It goes 374 and five. It's I've got 372, four and five at Target. And this is 13.99. So I hope that this matches me, maybe I'll find out, okay? But just FYI, online I see that it's a long wear skin tint infused with vitamin C, delivers bright skin like light. <laughs> I'm pausing because I, I don't want light. I don't do light and you know that. If you know me, you know I don't like light, but we're gonna try it anyway. Light foundation coverage to medium foundation coverage. Okay, so we'll, we'll aim more for the medium. A weightless feeling face makeup with 24 hour foundation wear resists sweat, humidity, and fading. Okie dokie. I just primed my lips using this e.l.f. lock on lip primer. I'm so mad that they don't sell anymore. I still love it. I'm still burning through my stash. It's a must for me. It makes my lips tacky and I just love it. Now, I don't always prime my face, but let's prime today because I have this hour Glass product. In fact, Hourglass is the Vanish Airbrush Primer. If you've used this, comment and let me know what you think about it. I've never used this before. Hourglass, wow, that was almost a tongue twister. Hourglass, what? Sent me a bunch of things recently, so. I wanna try it and see my glow on, you feel me? So let's put this in my T-zone. That's where I care to see something, you feel me? The primer should go wherever you need it to do the job. I don't need a primer on my hairline, you feel what I'm saying? I need it in the middle of my face. We're really taking it past the T of the zone because you know T-zone is really just here and here, but I do the cheeks as well. So T-ish zone, all right? If you're following along, then you know that that's how it feels. This is giving silicone. Is there a silicone in this? It feels very smooth, so that's a good thing. You off the hands and let's go ahead with this foundation it's giving dropper it also has some pearl vibes in it so i see that there's a highlighter or something in here it's it's got some kind of pearl highlighter or something in this i'm not going to pounce this onto my face meaning with the makeup sponge i do have a video where i talk about applying your product with a sponge versus a brush i prefer a brush all day long but of course you can do a sponge if you prefer that so i'm gonna go flat kabuki this is a sigma one i'll link all the products below oh this looks good oh this is nice and deep and it's nice and loose. Like it's a loose formula, but very highly pigmented. I could go with less product next time. I was not expecting it to be this pigmented. Oh, this is good. This is looking like full coverage to me. Look at how it took away my brow. Not every product does that so well. Are you kidding? And this is nice and dark. I like my foundation to be very, very deep. I love my deep, dark skin. And then when I do my whole face with my concealer, which you'll see, and this one, I do the whole thing. Thing, it'll really all come together. So I am going dark like this for a reason. So I could go at 74. What was the other one they sent me? I don't know. But look at the bottle, especially because it has that gold shimmer inside of it. I was like, oh, this is gonna be too light. No, this is actually really good. This is really deep. So of course I go darker with my foundation on purpose. If you really do have deep skin like this, you can wear this and it'll match you perfectly. This is obviously darker than my skin tone, but when I bring the whole face together, it's gonna look flawless. I do it all the time. Watch my videos, especially my makeup for beginners makeup playlist. You'll see what I mean, okay? So I am, Pressing this into the skin. Oh, I do see the glow. Do you see that? So you don't even need to add a liquid highlighter to this. It's just already built in. What? Ooh, this is lovely. This is really lovely. I mean, and the glow is on the more is more of a silver versus a gold, but I like that. I like to wear foundations that have a neutral undertone. And is this an N? Okay, I'm not sure. It doesn't say, normally you'll know if a certain shade is an, a neutral, a uh, cool or warm. I don't see it here. Maybe I just need to look a little deeper, but I ain't got that kind of time. This looks stunning. $14 drugstore, my goodness. I haven't even finished my face and I love it. I thinking love this. If you tried this, you have to let me know. And if so, I wanna know what shade you tried. Wow, it's drying down so nicely. It's not wet, it's not dewy, it's giving more satin. I almost, and I don't do this, I don't just put on foundation and walk around, but I would feel confident to just put this on if I was that kind of girl, I'm not. And if you are, I think you will love this to just put on and just walk about, you feel me? I have this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the shade 57N. This came in new. I know I've tried a different shade from them before. Let's try this, 57, oh, oh, well. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
this is neutral and I like a warm undertone concealer to highlight my face, but we're already here. So we're gonna continue. I knew it when I pulled it aside, I was like, I know I'm not gonna like the undertone, but I wanna see how the formula looks on the face. And that's why I'm using it right now. But I, I don't like neutral under my eyes. Once you do your makeup enough times for as many years as I have, you know what you prefer on your skin and what you don't. Does this look hideous? No, but is it my preference? No. And because I plan in so much makeup, I like to do what I know makes me feel the most confident that it just looks the best. And this is a neutral shade, like I said, 57N. All products are linked below. This sponge right here is from where? Oh, that was on here. I think this is Morphe. I don't know, just FYI. My other one was wet, but now I'm missing the sponges that have the point to get right in here. I'm so annoyed. Now this shade could be lighter. I could go lighter to get more of a highlight under my eye. You see that? I could definitely tolerate something lighter. Okay, I don't know if it's the shade or the product or the combination of, oh, now I'm reminded this is the radiant one. No wonder, because it does look radiant and it's melting into my skin. I'm thinking it's gonna be the extreme full coverage of the original, but this one is not. It's melting right into my skin. This would be great if you don't want that extreme coverage. If you want it to melt in and look natural, this would be perfect. I, however, was not expecting that right now. We're playing in makeup, so this stuff is new. So I'm just like, why is it disappearing? It looks good. I'm sure you would agree. It's just that that's not what I was expecting. Let's turn this over. I drew that line in the middle way too thick. Girl, we, we winging it right now. Good thing I don't have anywhere to go because trying new products when you have somewhere to go is such a problem. My face looks so neutral. It's giving gray. It's giving flat. You feel me? That's really what I like to avoid when it comes to the concealer. But we're here. You feel me? We're going we're gonna to finagle this and figure it out. I'm not getting enough lightness under my eyes. Okay, this has got to go and I'll give it away to someone that I know that doesn't mind taking what I've used already because that's not light enough for me. And Maple from Black Opal isn't gonna be light enough either. You know what, let's get some artistry going on here. It just reminds me back when I used to take clients as a makeup artist. We're gonna take this Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. Let's do a little mix and match because I need to bring some life to this, all right? I could do this, but this is gonna be too yellow. So let's do this one right here using my finger. You wanna warm it up for it to do what you want it to do. So let's do this and then we can go in with the sponge in a bit. But here we go. See how that is much lighter? Obviously you got some marks from my finger. We're gonna fix that. This is the point where my microphone went out and I had no idea. So let me try to explain to you what I was saying. I thought that this darkest color was going to be dark enough to be an actual contour for me, but as you can see, that didn't work out. So I just aborted mission and went to my Say Beauty bronzer. Now this is a bronzer. It is a darker color, but because this foundation is darker than usual, this actual bronzer is not showing up on me like it would if I were to use a lighter foundation. I mentioned this before, but you might use this Say Beauty bronzer on you and it might show more than it's showing on me right now. So I keep this around because it's a warm product. And like I said, it will show if I were to use a foundation that is lighter. Now I am using this Makeup Forever Loose Setting Powder for the first time. It does remind me of the Givenchy Prisme Libre powder that I have. I was a little confused about it cause I'm like, what? And I struggled to figure out how you actually open this. So <laughs> I learned that you need to twist it a certain way and then give it a bang bang on the bottom. You feel me? And then you get some of the product in the cap. So I put some immediately under my eye to set that area because that's where I normally get the creasing. And usually I would go with my Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder for the rest of the under eye area. So yeah, that's what I did here. And I'm using the Sephora, what, 79 brush to do that. And then I did take some of that Makeup Ever Powder to set the other areas of my face that I've already highlighted. And we're going with the Patrick Sta Made for Shades situation, you know, to deepen up this bronzer or deepen up the contour. It's a shadow for me. And then we're doing a face powder here. I wish I could tell you what powder that was. That's so, I think it's the Closest Cloud Set. And this is Rare Beauty Luminizer in the color Flaunt. And here I was explaining that I had purchased Emma Bonsu's e.l.f box that she did and I wanted to use this color that day but because my face was feeling so flat and neutral I didn't want to go with this red color I needed to brighten my face up a little bit so I'm using the Denisa Myrick's golden not golden this is the watermelon one what's the name I'll put it in the description box 
fun. I took too much. I was way overzealous. You got to go easy. And I was just doing way too much. I took way too much blush. You might think this looks amazing, but I took too much. The great thing about this blush is that it's so pigmented. It's definitely for artistry. A little goes a long way. Now I am taking the Kosas Cloud Set Velvety Powder and putting that on my eyelid as an eyeshadow. It's one of those easy things that I do on a get up and go basis and you can do that too. This is a Give Beauty liner. It's a purple one. I'll find the name and again, all links to products are gonna be below. I was doing a lot with this look this day. I was just trying out some new things, you know? Then of course, I did a black liner on the top of my eye. This is a Maybelline mascara. Of course, I'm gonna do my inner eye highlight. This is the shade Jump from Milk Cosmetics. Always gotta do my lashes. Love these D22 ones. And I did this dark purple lipstick as a liner from Make Cosmetics. I don't normally do these lip combos. I used to do this stuff a while ago and I stopped. This pink killed me. It is way brighter than I expected. And then it broke. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. It's definitely a vibrant look, okay? Comment and let me know what you think about it. It's different, okay?